Now, let's discuss with one of the best minds in the business. I've been going to school on this man's ruminations for decades. Democratic strategist James Carville. It's good to see you, handsome. Ruminations. Well, all right, good. There you go. I like that. I like the compliment introduction. I like being called handsome. Best of all of you. You are good looking. <laughs> one of the one of the best I shaped heads that. in the business. So James, <laughs> we'll start with we'll start with Biden. Biden needs independence. Uh, a growing number of people in this society who is uh, sick of the parties and wants to hear more about solutions and reasonableness. Right. Why is he struggling? Uh, he beat Trump, I think, by about a dozen or so. Now he's supposedly trailing by five. What's that about and what's the fix? Well, I, I think the, first of all, Democrats do need independence. It, secondly, they're getting them. We have not lost an election since Dobbs. And most of this is, I would prefer to term weakly aligned, but if you want to say independence, yeah, I'm not going to get into nomenclature argument here. And I don't think, and I think the Biden people know this, he's not going to be able to replicate his 2020 coalition. But, but the good news is he's doing better with, with, with not loosely aligned, and, and he's also doing better with over 65. So it's not all grim news on the Biden front at all. It, 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 it's a well, I'm challenging... I'm saying it is. I'm know, saying I'm if the numbers are what the they say, here. that he's back, he, he's, he's a little back of Trump with independence, what's the fix for him? Yeah, Why I, is that, and well, what does he do the, about it? Well, first of all, independents don't like Dobbs. They don't like authoritarian rule over people's bodies. They don't like the Arizona territorial legislation or the Comstock Act. And by the way, independents believe that you should, people that make over half a million dollars, he ought to pay more in taxes, like 78% of them. So that's another real good issue for him. But he's got, he's got to drive these home and draw contrast with Trump. And, it, and I Supposedly, he's starting to do that in Scranton and Lackawanna County. Got a lot of friends there. But, but yes, he, he does need to, to do well with independence. The good news is Democrats have been doing very well with independence since then stops. We tend, I'll just stick to me, I don't talk about reproductive okay. rights enough as a main voting issue in the upcoming election. I guess I'm looking at the polls that have immigration and the economy kind of prohibitively in front of it. But when you look at Trump's soft spots, women who respect reproductive rights and their allies who respect the same seems to be a real problem for him enough that he's trying to spin a new message for them. It, it, totally. And he is. And now Rick Scott's trying to, to flop around. And one thing to remember, Chris, is that on the question of, of reproductive rights or women's health care, abortion, whatever you call it, there is not much difference among women, not much racial difference, not much generational difference, and not much even income or education difference. It, it's pretty universally disliked by, by females, around, again, a lot of males too, not, not to single it out, but... but Yes, and they, it's costing them elections left and right. I mean, you know that New York 3rd District as well as anybody. Eight points? Mm -hmm. uh, that's, um, that's a canary in something. I don't know if it's a coal mine or what, but it, it, dead canary came. <laughs> it's down there somewhere, I promise you. <laughs> so with, with Biden's challenge, he can message his way into that group. Here's what I'll do for you. Here's what you guys are worried about as independents. Um, here's what we're going to do along those lines. If I were he, and I'm going to talk about this later in the show, I don't get why he's not acting on the border unilaterally. I don't get why he isn't dovetailing that with a national effort on fentanyl. You can't find a family in America that isn't scared to death about this. We're all buying Narcan kits and little strips for our kids. Right. It's the craziest, most... Uh, kind of yeah, yeah. participatory drug conversation I've ever had. I never thought I would talk to my oldest about drugs the way I am now because of fentanyl. So he can do that. What can Trump do that won't totally isolate the right fringe when talking about reproductive rights? What can he say to them? Yeah, okay, let's back up on, on the border issue. If you remember, Senator Langford and Senator Murphy negotiated something that the, the, the 
the border agents were all endorsed, everybody endorsed it, and Trump just unilaterally pulled the plug on it. So let, let, let's be clear that there was issues, there were things to address this that, that, that Trump blew up in the Republican Party. On fentanyl, I'd rather take raw sewage than fentanyl, I'll tell you the truth, and I, and, 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 and I think it is a terrible issue. I was watching uh, documentaries and reading about how uh, this stuff, and it, it, it is god-awful, and, you know, you're right to, to bring people's attention to this, and, and who it hurts are, you know, people who don't have much hope in their lives and you know, are more adversely affected by this than anything else. But uh, just remember that Senator Langford and Senator Murphy worked out something that everybody thought was a good deal on the border. So the pre I, I think the president, uh, my sense is, is that he, he's going to take some unilateral action here uh, before long. I think it's kind of imminent, to tell you the truth. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.